Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about ABC program design. ABC program design means you are running three different types of programs. They should probably complement each other. This is in contrast to an AB program, which is a simpler program, which most people are doing. If you think about simple and sinister, do swings two days a week, do Turkish get-ups two days a week, that's an AB program. We're just using A and B to stand in for any type of program layout at this point. A, B, C means we're running three separate ideas. I made a video about my personal program for May 2021 and people were asking about this. I thought we had detailed it last year, but I can't remember what videos we've made at this point. A, B, C program design works very well for me. For people who like to train all the time, this is how you do it. What we have here is a little Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. An A, B program, most people run it a, B, Monday, Tuesday, take a day off. A, B, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Three days off per week with two separate programs with two separate ideas. You could also run an A, B program more. Five or six days a week. It gets a little annoying at six days a week because it's boring. A, B, A, B, A. The next week would then be B, A, B, A, B and you keep running that program over and over. This is an excellent way to distribute the load of a program. So oftentimes we pick different things for these days. So A could be a two-handed club program. B could be a Turkish get-up program. This helps you stay away from overtraining but still get really good at specific things. An ABC program allows you to run three ideas at once. What I am currently running in my ABC program is kettlebell marathon, strength day, and a slam ball program. This works out and keeps you out of overtraining because all of these things are running on their own program. So think if I'm running my A program as marathon, it has its own heavy light progression. B program, my strength training, has its own separate progression. C program, slam ball, has 10 levels. It has its own progression. This is a way to distribute the training and keep you from overtraining. This is like a super, super nerdy trick. I like to run it, of course, six days a week. Sunday off, Lord's Day, gotta take a day off. Everybody in history knows you need one day off a week. A, B, C, A, B, C. If I miss a day, it doesn't matter. It just keeps going. A, B, C, A, B, I missed a day. I could miss a day anywhere in this progression and it still just keeps rolling. Whatever I did yesterday, I do the next thing in line the next day I train. I try to keep no more than two days off a week, but that's me because I like to train a lot and I'm running a lot of different programs. You could demonstrate this in a different way and demonstrate the heavy light by making capital A's heavy and small A's light. So, A lowercase b, capital C, little a, big B, small c. So it's a, b, c, a, b, c, but it is heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy, light. Start over, heavy, light. And it just keeps rolling back and forth. The point of the heavy light is that it is a built-in step-down day while you're still working on your skills. The step-down can be two things. It could be either a step down in weight or a step down in complexity. It gets pretty nerdy, but it makes perfect sense to me and I'll try and make it make sense to you. So consider that a heavy day. If that was marathoning, then it would be like 27K. The light day would be say 23K at a longer period of time. Heavy weights or lower complexity for less periods of time, the light days are lower weights, longer periods of time, or higher levels of complexity. Same thing is true with all these other ones, but this is a built-in step-down cycle between the heavy days and the light days. So, barbellers will build heavy and they'll do like four or five weeks straight heavy and then they'll have a step-down week. A lot of CrossFit gyms do that same thing where they set up a month progression or a two month progression and they train up to that progression. They hit their max numbers and then they hit a step down time frame, usually a week or something like that, depends on your gym. 
I build my step downs in because I want to keep training and I have to keep moving up. So the ABC program works great if you're going to train five or six days a week. If you're training only four days a week, the ABC program does not work well. It spreads it out too much for you to get good at things effectively in a time controlled period of time. A, B, A, B, four days a week or three days a week, A, B, A. B, A, B, which is not ideal at all. I never recommend people train three days a week. It's just not enough. You should train more days a week than you rest because humans should move more than they rest. That's the way the body is designed. That's what evolution has us do. One day a week off is what I like. I am taking the one day off rest cue from major world religions. Major world religions have a Sabbath. If you are training this much, you should also have a Sabbath. You can run through seven days a week for a while. Depends on how heavy it is and how much impact there is in whatever you're doing. It is possible. People do it all the time, but it does start to frag you out pretty quickly and it takes you a lot longer to recover after you actually get breaks. So instead of having one day off a week, if you were to train straight seven days a week for four weeks, you would get into overtraining pretty quick and you'd probably need a week off to let your systems recover. AB training is for those training three to four days a week. I recommend four, you should train more than you rest. ABC training is for people who are training five to six days a week. I love ABC training and I'm gonna talk about it all the time. So I hope this answers the question. There is ABC training. They can move around as long as you get your one day off a week. You just come back in that order and they are running. Heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy, light. Heavy is higher weights, lower complexity or shorter periods of time. Light is lower weights, higher complexity or higher periods of time. Think about that as a general layout idea. This is how you get really good at things. You turn these things into separate skill programs and you evolve them over time. 